I figure that having this thing in the frame is a worthwhile trade-off for better quality audio. They said it was gonna snow today, but there's no snow. Hey you, my name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Now, if you're on the internet, you're probably on the internet, then you know that lots of people have been talking about TikToks, everything from media and news companies to famous marketers around the world. Everyone's mentioning TikTok and how it's got amazing organic reach and whatnot. Now, apparently it's kind of due to the kind of uh, supply demand thingy there where lots of people are wanting to view something but there are not so many quality creators on there yet so people who do create quality content on whatever level tends to have a much bigger reach organic reach which kind of creates the space for a lot of new creators to grow because they can get their content seen a lot easier so i am trying to throw a lot of attention towards TikTok. Well, not a lot, but significantly more. In the beginning, I was like, okay, let's just throw in a couple of my vlogs. And then when I saw how some videos do really well, I was like, okay, we're going to have to create something specifically for this platform with that specific audience in mind. Of course, hashtags play one of the biggest roles in all of this because that's literally like Instagram's page, except that instead of randomly trying to make your photos perform well and maybe having a chance of appearing on the front page, here you know exactly which hashtags are trending and what kind of video what kind of themed video is going to do well because then they're going to be promoted inside that hashtag so it's kind of like a, a direct funnel to appear on the trending page and i did just that and i'm gonna confess it wasn't intentional i literally just woke up in the morning i'm browsing my instagram doing my regular messages uh seeing what my like numbers are i do that a lot more often than i should be but you know that's what happens and i'm like okay let's just go check out what's happening on tiktok and i go to the discover page and uh i don't remember which hashtag it was let me check so the hashtag for that morning was can you lift it or something like that and i realized that the view count for the hashtag was only like 250,000 or something whereas most of the other hashtags where they come out they have five or six or more million views so it's like okay well not so many videos have been created for this hashtag it's gonna be trending it just came out because it wasn't there last night so let's create something for it and i'm like thinking what should i do what should i do i'm a photographer video guy obviously so i wanted to do something with a camera so it's like oh let me pretend to lift something that looks big but it's actually close to the camera and i just got these skittles the other day because i like skittles these crazy sours so i'm like okay so i i, I hung a, a skittles above my camera above my phone camera on a little pin kind of thing and it looked really big in the frame so i'm like oh you know, why am I telling you this? I might as well show you. Oh my! Nah, I'm just kidding. It's just the Skittles. So I posted thinking nothing of it. You know, I, I did kind of submit a few videos before to, to trending hashtags and they got a couple thousand views, which again is amazing considering YouTube's getting like average of 50 views per video. But a couple thousand views for a video that you filmed in two or three seconds is pretty epic. So anyway, I, I posted there not really thinking about it and I go off somewhere doing something during that day and then I randomly check on it and it's like at 5,000 or 6,000 that same morning. And then, you know, at the end of the day, it's already at 20, 30, 40,000. And it currently stands at over 60,000 views. And I don't remember how many likes. And literally, it, just, it took me like five minutes of thinking what I'm gonna do and a couple tries. So another five minutes of filming it, I just put a bunch of effects, put a couple hashtags related to that hashtag and off it went and it performed really well and i had zero i had okay maybe a hundred followers or so so this was clickbait i'm thinking of a thumbnail that says no followers uh but still my followers really quadrupled uh since i put that video up okay so great that's my success story and i'm gonna try to break it down into steps for you so obviously the most important thing is quality content that's catered to the TikTok audience it's not the same type of content that you would see on Instagram or even on YouTube it's quite a little bit different and you kind of get into that whole gist of it when you spend a little bit of time on TikTok browsing around following some of the more popular creators uh, just to get in the mood and find out what performs well over there so my strategy so far and it's gonna continue for a while has worked for me so far 
is pretty much when I wake up in the morning, I'm not sure what time of the day the trending hashtag switches, but when, it, when I wake up, it's pretty new and pretty fresh. This morning I put up a TikTok, it's not booming, but I think I, I put it up like an hour ago, it's already over a thousand views. So it's gonna do, it's gonna do okay. First thing is find out what's the new trending hashtag and cater for it. Second is make some cool piece of content that's related to the hashtag, but also in your niche. You don't want every, every one of your TikToks to be completely different. They should have a little theme that's specific to you, which is why people would follow you. There's a difference between getting a viral TikTok, but also remaining cons uh, retaining consistency in your content, which is what people subscribe for. And of course you have to be consistent. You may not have the time to create a TikTok every day, but you should be regular because if you make once a month, that goes you know boom it's still nothing compared to what you could be doing if you make one on a daily basis or even more often like some people make five instagram stories per day i really can't do that but i guess it's an effective strategy and of course tiktok is trending doesn't mean it's here to stay it could be just going on an uphill and a downhill so you might be asking you know what maybe it's just a waste of time you know i'm gonna get a bunch of followers on tiktok and then tiktok's gonna die nobody's gonna care but what i've noticed is that some of those people are slowly trickling into my youtube and Instagram channel as well because and thank you TikTok so much for that TikTok has a dedicated YouTube and Instagram button which takes you to the platform so it takes you to the YouTube application and to the Instagram app uh, and there you can directly follow that creator which is great because Instagram link when you put a link into the Instagram bio it takes you into the inbuilt Instagram browser which means you cannot automatically subscribe to someone you have to you know go back to your app and it's it's a headache and TikTok makes it really easy to convert um, the audience from TikTok to the other platforms, which is just amazing. And that's my little story of how my TikTok from two or three days ago got over 60,000 views. I'm excited, I'm proud, I think TikTok has tons of potential. I hope this inspired you guys to create something cool, um, to use this opportunity. Uh, to get exposure and organic reach and even boost some of your other platforms because all these other platforms which are oversaturated um, uh, It's a really hard time for new and fresh creators to break their way to the top and get noticed So this is just like a little um, I guess back door I hope this was inspirational educational and all that other good stuff guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next week. I Don't mind this mic in the frame I think I have to see this on the big screen, but uh, it sounds so good.